Hi, I'm Anita. Today I'm going to teach you simple equations or linear equation in one variable. Suppose I'm taking equation as x plus 5 is equal to 12. Since we have here plus 5, so to find the value of x, add negative 5 on both sides. So you will get x is equal to 12 minus 5 which is 7. Now suppose I am taking another example as x minus 5 is equal to 12. Since we have here negative 5, add plus 5 on both sides. So x is equal to 17. So from these two examples we conclude that Whenever there is addition, we have to do subtraction and whenever there is a subtraction, we have to do addition. That means we have to use the opposite operations. Now suppose I am taking example of multiplication. Suppose 2x is equal to 12. Now here we have 2x that means 2 times x. So to find the value of x, divide both sides by 2 to make x alone. So x is equal to 6. Now if I am taking x over 2 is equal to 12. Now here x over 2, there is a division operation. So I am multiplying both sides by 2. So 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So x is equal to 24. Now here from these two examples we conclude that whenever there is a multiplication we do division and whenever there is a division we do multiplication. Now if I have combined addition and multiplication both. Suppose 3x plus 8 is equal to 14. Since we have plus 8 here, add negative 8 on both sides. So we will get 3x is equal to 6. To find the value of x, divide both sides by 3. So x is equal to 2. Now, if I am taking some parenthesis like this 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 12. Since we have a parenthesis multiply each number of a parenthesis with 3. That means here we are using distributive law. So 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 2 is 6 is equal to 12. Since we have here plus 6 so add minus 6 on both sides. So 3x is equal to 12 minus 6 which is 6. Divide both sides by 3 so x is equal to 2. Now suppose I am taking one example as 3x minus 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 10 suppose. Now 3x as it is since we have parenthesis so I am multiplying each number of parenthesis with negative 2 so I am using distributive law so negative 2 times x gives you negative 2x negative 2 times negative 3 will give you positive 6 is equal to 10. Now these two are like terms. So 3x minus 2x is equal to 1x plus 6 is equal to 10. Now add negative 6 on both sides. So 1x is equal to 4. So x equal to 4. Now if I have taken some fraction, 
suppose I'm taking x over 2 plus x over 3 is equal to 8. If we have a fraction, first find the LCM of denominator. So LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So solve it like a fraction. So I am multiplying here by 6. Sorry, I am multiplying here by 3, here by 3 to make the denominator same as that of LCM. Multiplying here by 2, here by 2. So I will get 3x over 6 plus 2x over 6 is equal to 8. Now since the denominators are same, so we will add the numerators keeping the denominator as it is. So 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x over 6 is equal to 8. Now to make x alone, I am multiplying here by the reciprocal of 5 over 6 which is 6 over 5. So I am multiplying here also by 6 over 5. So this 6 and 6 will get cancelled. 5 and 5 will get cancelled. So x so x is equal to multiply these two numbers which is 48 over 5. So in decimal you can write it as 9.6. Thank you.